guys, so this will probably be thrown into a vlog. You can walk around, it's not a super formal video. Um, this will probably be thrown into a vlog, but I went down to Louis Vuitton today and I bought myself my Christmas present. So um, this was a Christmas present to myself and it's something that I really wanted. I purchased it from the Ogilvy um, Louis Vuitton boutique in downtown Montreal. And I am so, so, so excited. Um, Tony and I both love this bag. And I actually love the new Louis Vuitton bags. I feel like this just pops so much more with the blue handles and the orange bag. I think I think it was time for a little bit of a change. This is the box it came in and the nice blue ribbon. Um, the, the sales associate that helped me was so, so nice. His name was Vincent and he was so helpful. We just chatted about, you know, Louis Vuitton and like my next bag. But anyways, this is the box. I really like their new like magnetic sort of boxes. A lot of their old boxes that you had like a, it was like a shoe box. And then inside it comes with the slip. And then here is my new bag. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you what's in the dust bag. The lighting gets weird all the time. It is the Pochette Métis. Métis? Métis? I don't know, it's French. I should know this, I live in Quebec. It actually comes in a few different ones right now. I saw all three of them. One is black and red, which I thought was really cool. And if I had infinite funds and was able to you know, purchase a ton of different bags just for fun, I would be into that bag. But for my everyday life, I thought the monogram was the best bet. They also had the one with the reverse monogram. And I believe um, the reverse monogram was on the front flap and then maybe on one of the middle parts. I didn't like the color of the reverse monogram. Mike and I were talking uh, talking about it in the car because Mike came with me and we were talking about it in the car. I'm like, I really didn't like the reverse monogram. And he's like, I know, me neither. I'm like, it really looked like a baby poop color, like the color of the reverse monogram. And he's like, that's what I was thinking, but I didn't want to say it. So I just got the classic monogram. So I'm going to take off the little sticker now on the hardware. It's so pretty and shiny. And it just opens like this. Is only one supposed to move or is both supposed to move? Oh my god, that was freaking me out. I was having a meltdown. I didn't even finish the rest of my unboxing because I was freaking out um, because I thought mine was defective. So now I'm gonna quickly pack up my bag and go to Mike's house. So crisis averted. Oh my god, I like freaked out. Um, you guys should not see my reaction in the unboxing. I thought that the purse was defective. Uh, and um, for those of you that don't know, I live in like, the suburbs and so for me and the Louis Vuitton like stores in the city so for me to go to Louis Vuitton it's you know without traffic it's probably close to 30 minutes 30 40 minutes um, but with traffic and Montreal has really bad traffic with traffic it is a trek and I didn't feel like going down <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to go, but crisis averted. My first thing was I'm gonna call the Louis Vuitton hotline, like the the store line. So I called, and I said hi. Like I'm just I just purchased a Pochette Menti, and I was just wondering if um, both of the balls on I don't know what to call them, the little nubs. I was wondering if both of them are supposed to move. I'm at a red lane now, so I'll show you. I don't remember it in the store being that difficult to open. She's like, oh, I'm not really sure, because I guess it's a weird question. Um, and then I was like, okay, well, do you mind like asking someone just because I don't live like that close to the store So if I go in I would like to if I if I have to go in like I don't want to go in for no reason So then I texted Vincent after she told me that both of the balls were supposed to move and he's like no on this model Only one ball is supposed to move, but I still wasn't convinced so um, I Twitter message uh, Christina she was actually the one that really inspired me to get this purse and I became like enthralled by it. I was like, wow, this is like such a beautiful bag. For those of you who don't know, for the longest time, I thought that I didn't like crossbody bags, but it just turns out that I don't like small crossbody bags. Um, I have a video called Luxury Products like that I sold and why, or something along those lines, and that video will kind of go more in depth into why I, like, I got rid of my Louis Vuitton swimmer bag and some other crossbody bags. But then this past summer, um, I in like May or like very early in the very early in the summer, like Gucci was not as popular as it was. And I know like a lot of YouTubers went out and purchased the Gucci 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 Soho Disco bag after they saw mine. So because I was like so obsessed with my Gucci Soho Disco bag, but 
I didn't want to carry a nude bag in the winter, I was open to a crossbody bag. I, I saw Christina's videos and I was just like, oh my god, like that's such a beautiful bag. Another driving factor is because I was at Starbucks in line and the woman in front of me had the reverse monogram um, pochette matisse. And I don't like the color of the reverse reverse monogram, but I love the shape. And I saw her, and she was paying, you know, pay, for, paying for a drink. And I just was like looking at the bag. I'm like, wow, that's such a nice bag. But what got me into this is like she's the only person that I've seen with this bag. Um, I know, like on YouTube, it seems like every person has this bag, and it's very, it's very like. Um, I don't know like it's very like oh copycat like oh no, no, of course she's getting a Pasha Mati but like what you have to realize is not all these youtubers live in the same place so even if someone is inspired like I was inspired by Christina and you think a lot of people have the same bag we don't all live in the same place and I decided to get it from the store just because um, Christina talked about this in her video which I'll link down below but basically when this bag first came out it was really in demand because it was limited um, they weren't making a bunch of them but the demand for them was there so Louis Vuitton brought them back and now you can get them pretty much at every Louis Vuitton boutique and I did look at the pre-loved market you know on fashion file I think they were $15.95 um, US so with tax with uh, the conversion and, and everything I'd pay around $2,100 and for me for $400 more I would have just rather you know get it when I wanted it brand new no watermarks no patina blah 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 I just I felt like because the price difference wasn't that big it was worth it for me to, no matter what you say or what anyone thinks I am a fan of the monogram um, some people like it some people don't but you know that's what makes the world go around I don't understand why people have this like vibe about Louis Vuitton where they're like oh that's so basic like fuck basic bitches it's a classic brand like for me it has history it has a rich history and it's some it's a brand that I've always loved I know a lot of people are like oh Louis Vuitton because you know it's some of their bags are entry-level bags like this well especially when I was younger the speedies I think when I got my first speedy the speedy was um around $800 for a Speedy 30 monogram. Now they're more expensive, but they're still entry level and they're not like they're not crazy. They're still expensive, but they're not like off the wall bonkers. I think it'll be a great bag for me. I think it's very me. And like I said, I love that not every person has this bag. I've seen it once, honestly once. Um of course I've seen it a lot on YouTube, but like I said, I don't live with all these YouTubers. I live in Montreal and I haven't seen this bag very often. So that's why I kind of liked it. Like not that I want to be like, oh, I'm a unique little precious daisy flower. That's not my vibe ever. Like I never am like that. Like I just like what I like and I never want to be like, oh, I'm so unique. I'm a precious flower. Look how unique I am. Like I'm a special snowflake. That's not the type of person I am. I'm sure a lot of people think I am like a basic bitch, like with my Louis Vuitton bags and you know, like I'm sure people do think that but I'm happy with my stuff and I don't buy stuff so I can impress other people I buy stuff for me so I think that's what everyone should do if you like Michael Kors buy Michael Kors who the fuck cares you're gonna listen to some little stupid ratty youtubers who are like fuck Michael Kors like Louis Vuitton's basic like no buy what you like buy what you can afford don't go into debt to buy these things and I don't know it just makes me so mad when people put down brands because they think it's beneath them. I hate when people do that. It's like, you're saying stuff like that and it's so insensitive because not every person can afford, you know, a Chanel bag or a Birkin or a Louis, Louis Vuitton. Like, not every person can afford that. And I just think it's wrong for people to put down other brands because what about that young, why am I going off on a tangent? But what about that young girl or guy who, you know, maybe they only got, you know, two, $300 for Christmas and they want to get a bag, but all they can afford is Michael Kors. And then they're thinking, oh, but this person said that Louis, like Michael Kors is X, Y, and Z. I just, I think people need to be careful with what they, with what they say about brands because it can make people feel inferior. And I don't know, it just makes me angry when people say stuff like that. So... I didn't even take a breath this whole this whole car ride. And I'll talk more about this bag later. Um, maybe film like a little bit more of a proper unboxing and not when I was freaking out. Hey guys, so since I'm no longer having a mental breakdown about if this is broken or not, I wanted to give you a better look. This unboxing is a little bit unconventional. I wanted to show you more about this bag. It just didn't feel like a proper unboxing. I don't know if I said this and I hate when other YouTubers 
don't give credit to the people that inspired them to purchase things, I find that really like, why not just say who inspired you to purchase things? They don't even say like, oh, like I saw this on so-and-so. Like whenever I buy something that is inspired by someone else, I always like just mention them. Christina Brawley, previously known as Pretty Shiny Sparkly, she had just done um, a video about this bag and she really inspired and got me hooked on the idea of this bag. Like I talked about in the beginning, it does come with a detachable monogram strap, which is adjustable. I am absolutely enthralled with this strap. I love it so much. I think it is so nice. And um, if I had like a Speedy B25 in monogram, I think this would be like so nice on it. It's a very durable bag, which is why I really love Louis Vuitton because their canvas, it lasts a long time and you don't have to worry about it, which is what I love about Louis Vuitton. So the front of the bag has this little, you know, gold detail. And there's also a little bit more leather on here. Um, why I was freaking out in the video yesterday is because when I went to open it, this one didn't move. And for some reason, I thought that it didn't move in the store. So I started freaking out because I thought mine was defective. Turns out that none of them are supposed to move, at least on this model. Um, I rewatched um, Christina's video and, her, and hers, she said in the video, only one of hers moves. Um, I believe in Jerusha's video as well, she said only one of the moves, but for some reason I really got freaked out. And then on the back, there is, you know, a zipper, which is nice. So it is a very, very spacious bag. And the zipper is very spacious as well. Right now I just have some, some of my jewelry from my line in the pocket, um, but it is very, very spacious, perfect for a phone or if you're traveling, like, you know, a passport or anything like that. When you open it, you just use, you know, the little thing. And this is what the inside looks like. It is, you know, the monogram canvas on here. As you'll see, there is a little plastic nub at the tip here, so that way it doesn't scratch the hardware. And there's three separate compartments in the bag. If you guys want to see what's in my first video, let me know. I'm still trying to get used to it. But what I really like the back pocket for here is, you know, either receipts, like I just went to get my winter tires done. And when I went to Costco, I just, you know, stuck it in here and I just knew where it was. I also have a Bath & Body Works coupon, which if I know I have a coupon, um, I like to keep it there for easy access. And I like that because it won't stretch it out. And I don't know what the interior is. It feels like a suede. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's suede. I have a Starbucks gift card from um, one of my viewers, Shelby. And I have hand sanitizer and my YSL wallet, but it is a very, very spacious bag and I really love it. Um, honestly, so far I have nothing bad to say about it and I'm really, really loving it. So that was my unboxing and impression of the Louis Vuitton Pochette Mati bag. I think it's just such a classic piece. It's a newer piece from Louis Vuitton, but like honestly, it looks like this could have been around with the Speedies and the Sommer and like the Neverfull. It's just so classic and I think it will become a super classic piece for Louis Vuitton. And I've seen some people, what they've done is they've gotten a silk scarf and wrapped this. And I saw a picture, I'll insert it, of someone who had a like leopard print scarf on it and it looks so nice. So if you know where I can get a nice, um, leopard print silk scarf that I can wrap around here, let me know. I'm not, she, I don't know if the person got it from Louis Vuitton. I don't want to spend that much money on a scarf. I personally would never. But um, if you have any suggestions on where I could get a nice leopard, I think I put it on the wrong way. <laughs> if you have any suggestions as to where I could get a leopard print scarf to wrap around this, please let me know because I am definitely interested. Well, that is the end of the video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a great day or night depending on when you watch this. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.